Here's an example of the running percutaneous suturing method without locking. The idea here is that you're going to use one continuous suture to close the wound before you divide the suture material. The first step of this type of closure is to start as if you're placing a simple interrupted suture at one end of the wound. You're going to go ahead and close this with simple instrument ties the same way you would a simple interrupted suture. Now at this point, instead of cutting both ends as you would with a simple interrupted, you're only going to cut the short end of the suture material. And from here what you're going to do is continue to run that suture across the wound. Basically you're going to enter at the opposite side of the tissue, crossing the wound at a 65 degree angle, and you're going to go across the wound in a circular motion perpendicular to the wound, exiting on the opposite side about three to five millimeters from the wound edge. And you'll repeat this process over and over again until you close the wound. The nice thing about this suture is it's got the ability to adapt to progressive swelling of the wound. It is, however, a little bit difficult to control the distribution of tension across the wound. So you don't really want to use this for irregular wounds. So you've got the idea here. We're going to continue to run the suture across the length of the wound. And now let's talk about the finish. So for your final throw at the end of the wound, rather than pulling the suture material all the way through, you're actually going to leave a loop of suture behind. This is going to allow us to form what's called the Aberdeen knot. What you'll do with your free dominant hand is grab that single suture material edge and pull it through the loop, which will create a brand new loop. And you're going to repeat that process again. Make sure to keep the needle at a distance from your fingers to prevent a stick. Finally, what you're going to do is grab an instrument like your needle driver, send it through the loop, and grab that needle end and pull it through the loop in order to lock the suture. And that's going to give you your continuous percutaneous suture closure. Cut the end, and there you go.